Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam by moment area method. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. This beam carries a concentrated movement 150 kN meter at a distance of 4 meter from the left support. The concentrated movement is acting in the clockwise direction. In the previous videos, we have converted the fixed beams into simply supported beams. But in this problem, there is a concentrated movement. So if we proceed in that way, it will be little difficult. In this case, we can try a different method. We are going to draw the bending moment diagram separately about the point A. First, we have to make the diagram due to the vertical reaction RB, then due to the movement MB, and finally due to the concentrated movement 150. First, let us draw the bending moment diagram due to the vertical reaction RB. We are finding the bending moment values about the point A from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So the movement is 6RB. We know that in the point B, the movement is 0. And in the point A, the moment is 6RB, so that we will get this triangular shaped diagram. And we know that this moment is positive. Now let us draw the bending moment diagram due to MB. MB is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. We know that it is a moment, so it will be constant from the point B and up to the point A. So we will have a rectangular shaped diagram. Now let us draw the bending moment diagram due to the concentrated movement 150. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us keep this diagram as 1, this one as 2 and this one as 3. Now let us find area 1. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle, half into BH. Here the breadth is 6 and the height is 6RB. So for the area 1, we will get 18RB. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar about the point A. We already know the area. Let us apply that. Let us find x1 bar for this triangle. The centroid distance towards the left is 1 by 3 into breadth. Here the breadth is 6. So 1 by 3 into 6. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 36 RB. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a rectangle. When we multiply the length 6 with the MB, we will get the area. We know that the diagram is negative. So we have to apply the negative sign. Now let us find the area 2 x2 bar. We know the area. Let us apply that. Now let us find the x2 bar. In this rectangle, we can easily find the centroid distance. That is the length 6 by 2. For area 2 x2 bar, we will get a minus 18 MB. Now let us find the area 3. It is also a rectangle. When we multiply 150 into 4, we will get the area. We know that it is a negative diagram, so we have to apply a negative sign. For area 3, we will get a minus 600. Now let us find area 3, x bar 3. We know that in the rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. 4 upon 2, we will get the centroid distance. For area 3, x bar 3. We will get a minus 1200. We know that in the fixed end there will be no slope. In this case area upon EI will be equal to 0. We have found 3 area values. We have to add all of them. EI is constant so it will be eliminated. 
no need to consider that let us keep minus 600 on the other side so it will come as positive let us keep this equation as number one we know that in the fixed end there will be no deflection in this case area x bar upon ei will be equal to zero let us add area 1 x1 bar area 2 x2 bar and area 3 x3 bar we know that ea will be eliminated so no need to consider that let us take minus 1200 on the other side so it will come as positive let us keep this equation as number 2 now there are two equations we can take a calculator and solve these two equations if you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator for rb i have got 100 upon 3 and for mb i have got 0 now let us find ra we have found rb it is acting upwards we know that in this beam there is no load in this case the values of rb and ra will be same but the direction will be different since rb is acting in the upward direction ra should be acting in the downward direction now let us take a moment about a and find ma rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 so 100 upon 3 into 6 the concentrated movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative let us assume that ma is acting in the clockwise direction so that it is also negative for ma we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct ma is acting in the clockwise direction now let us find the shear force values from the point a and towards the point b i am going to find the shear force values in this case we have to use right hand side rule upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative using the rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram now let us find the bending moment values let us find the bending moment at a in the point a we have ma which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive now let us find the bending moment at just left of c the moment ma is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive or a is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 finally we will get minus 83.333 now let us find the bending moment at just right of c for that with this value we have to add the concentrated moment 150 since the concentrated moment is acting in the clockwise direction it should be applied as positive finally we will get 66.667 we know that in the point b the bending moment is zero here you can see the bending moment diagram this is the point of contraflexure in this point let us make a section and find the distance in that point i have made a section at a distance of x from the point a in this section we can find the movement and we know that it is a zero using that concept we can find x let us apply that now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video